Alright guys, so today we're going to be building the uh, Windicator for a uh, wind vane for a laser. This is the Windicator 200L, and this is from Windward Products LTD. As you can see, there are a bunch of different ones for different boats. And this says that it is materials UV stabilized. The vane arm length is 200 millimeters, and this weighs only 34 grams, so very light. Great if you are racing. Also, as it says written up here in the top, it says that it is accurately balanced. And 100% accurate, you can even tune out to win. All right, so we got our pivot rod right here with the bearing sleeve right on this this little red piece. We have our vane arm right here, and the mast clip. So there's instructions right up here on the top here, and we're just gonna go through those and we're gonna build it, and then we'll try it out on the boat and see how it works. So in order to build this windicator. Um, you are going to need a couple tools, so in the instructions it says you need a soft jaw vise as well as a uh, hammer, a, a light hammer. Alright, so what we got to do first is we got to close this on the little, the uh, bearing sling there, you see how it slides? So we're going to want that to be pushed all the way up. First piece of advice, these definitely aren't going to work. I tried for a little while and I just can't hold it still. So. So you are probably going to need a vise. So here I have a vise, got my hammer. We're just gonna bang this in to the top here. We got that all the way up. So you're gonna actually want this flush because the bearing sleeve is going to spin with the whole thing. So let's take this out. And there you go, as you can see, it spins very easily. All right, so for the next step, it says hold the pivot rod in a soft jaw vise protruding by 20 millimeters. So we'll just take a guess. Don't think it has to be perfect. Okay, so now we just gotta grab our mask clip. So as you can see, when I put this in the vise, I kept this up so it's nice and straight. Because uh, now we're gonna be putting in the mask clip. So you're gonna wanna bang this in uh, like this, right? So I'm keeping that horizontal, everything's in line. And we just gotta bang this in. Careful your vice, you don't want to damage this too much either. I gave it a couple of nice scratches, but that's okay. And there we go. We have built a wind van. We will try this on the boat. All right, everyone. So we're at the sailing club now. I have attached the, the wind van to my laser. That's where I decided to put it. On the instructions, it does say where about where you should place it. I kind of just placed it wherever I felt like. Um, but as you can see right here, the wind vane is working, it's moving, and it is pointing to the wind direction. The wind is coming from about north right now, and my boat is pointing about north. And as you can see, the arrow is pointing to where the wind is. We do have some light winds, and let's see how well this thing performs in lighter wind conditions. All right, guys, we're on the water. A little bit more wind than I expected, but um, as you can see, the wind vane is doing its job, pointing to the wind. I'm on about a close haul right now. Uh, my sail is not trimmed correctly, but nevertheless, you can see that the arrow is pointing. And I'm just gonna bear off here, and let's take a look. All right, so I'm about a close reach now. And we're off to a beam reach now. And as you can see, the arrow is starting to turn more to the left, point towards the wind. I'm about a dead beam reach, pointing to the side. All right, everyone, the opposite tack. As you can see, the wind vane, once again, performing very well. Such a great purchase. I really recommend it if you're racing. It makes just pointing and Upwinds just a hell of a lot easier. Here we are, the outside of the Niagara River. There's Lake Ontario out there. Some nice winds today. Thanks for watching, guys.